kita bawa ini karena ah, sempurna. Saya akan menunjukkan kamu bagaimana kamu akan buka ini dan dimakan ini eh, sampah pisau dan yang kamu and the way that you not your hands not gonna get like crazy sticky everywhere playing with pineapple. If we have a knife and we're gonna cut this, our hands are gonna be so sticky and disgusting. But I'm gonna show you a way you can open this without a knife and eat it without getting sticky. Ini sangat bermanfaat. Kita grab ini, kayak gini, dan twisting. Nah, oke. Okay. Bagus. Kita tapping. Ini prosesnya sedikit lama. Tapi bagus. So what we're doing now is, we're loosening up the pineapple pieces. Buat loose. And we apply pressure and we roll. Now you can feel it loosening up. matang masih muda kalau ada yang sudah matang bisa single piece aja dilepas semua tapi ini belum matang nah, matang so good so hungry guys so a little bit sour ini asam Very useful, guys. Like I said, if you have one that's already uh, matang, already ripe, then you can just pick out each individual piece like this. And it's not as messy as this, but this one isn't ripe yet, so it's still very strong and messy. So you can just pick out each piece like this, but it's much easier if it's ripe. Now, the main thing is. We really need to go. So sour. We really need to go and find a drink, a real drink. We already dehydrated. We already dehydrated. But in this kind of climate, you're always gamo salalo dehydrasi every minute. Jadi ada pohon kelapa di sana, and I'm going to show you the safe way to get the pineapple and how to open it without a knife.
Saya akan menunjukkan kamu ini. This is gonna stop you. Ini licin banget. Kita harus hati-hati. Kalau ini pohon tinggi banget, ini bermanfaat. Kalau kamu jatuh, bisa kayak gini. Nah, si kan, look. Ini buat aman dan kamu bisa coba lagi gitu. Kalau yang tinggi banget. Nah, guys, kalau kamu tidak ada pisau, masih bisa buka ini. Eh, itu sedikit susah. Tapi masih, tapi bisa. Mungkin. Coba, coba lihat lewat kita bisa keluar dari sini ikuti terus Untuk datang air di sini, aduh, eh, pantai Swarna, Legon, Legon, apa namanya? Saya juga lupa. Legon apa ya ini? Pari, Legon Pari. Tapi kita tidak tidak tahu ada beberapa banyak area sama sama nama Legon Pari. Ada yang di sini, ada yang 30 kilo lewat sana. Aduh, ini benar-benar behind the scenes, guys. Lewat kanan. Dia bilang, pergi lewat kanan. Lewat kanan mana nih? Aduh, kita bawa Chelsea. Nah, guys, dari sekarang, itu, ah, ini, Sam, your stuff. Ini terlalu ribet bawa Chelsea. Halo, Bang. Eh, saya tidak bawa lagi. Kita harus taruh direction. 
Yeah, guys. Ini the last time saya bawa Chelsea terlalu ribet bawa dia harus kandang, harus makanan, harus air lagi. Masih ya, Bang? Yeah. Terlalu ribet. Saya tidak pernah bawa dia lagi. Kita pikir oh ini ini pantai aja bisa parkir mobil langsung di sana. No, kita salah masih 4 kilo pergi lewat sana. Nah, saya tidak pernah bawa dia lagi. Mungkin eh, tahun depan saya akan beli otor atau monyet dan bawa dia untuk petualang. Tapi Chelsea adalah hewan malam, ya yeah, ribet. Gak mau bawa dia lagi. Ah, ini the real behind the scenes. Ayo, coba lihat kameramen. <laughs> Semua saya juga. Oh my god. Ah, saya juga. Uh, gak bisa nafas. Ah, ini coba lihat itu. Waduh, ada dua atasnya. Gila. This is amazing. So surfers love coming here. Look at these waves. So it's an absolute mission to get here because. Uh, when you look on Google at the image of this beach, it's called Pantai Sawarna. Pantai Sawarna that we found out is about 100 kilometers long. So there's about 75 beaches that are all called Pantai Sawarna. And then, to make it even more confusing, this one is called uh, Legon Pari Sepang. But most people here just call it Legon Pari Pantai. Then you have, so you have Legon Pari Pantai and Pantai Legon Pari, which is here. <laughs> when you say it the other way around, Legon Pari Pantai, that's 30 kilometers that way, which we went to today. And then I showed another guy the photograph. No, no, this is the wrong one. You need to go back there. Like, ah, oh, shit. So that's, that always happens in Indonesia. Nobody tells you anything precise. You know, you have to ask every minuscule detail. Uh, but look at this. That is incredible. Incredible, guys. So we're going to do some beach survival. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing.